Hi right, guys, welcome back for part two. We're back at Sandhurst. It's bright and early in the morning. It's 10 to 8. I've just unloaded the van and I managed to get back in the same peg. That means a lot on these tricky day ticket waters. I'm going to fish on old bait. I put a lot of bait in last week. This week's going to be very different. I'm going to be fishing smaller patches of bait in the same general area and try and pick one or two more bites up back up. So uh, you'll join me when I get round to the peg and uh, get stuff loaded out. So uh, until then, see you soon. Well, would you believe this? The early bird catches the worm. Look like that effort to get down here. I left my ass at what? Just gone half four this morning and it's already paid off. I've got an absolute stunning looking linear carp in here. I haven't weighed it yet. Let me give it a quick weigh. Beautiful looking carp, this one. Another nice, real dark looking fish. Rods have only been out probably four hours or so. Round, round about weight, I'll zero the sling after, I know roughly what it weighs. Check this pecs, always check their pecs. Just over the 24 pound mark. 24 pound and a few ounces. Wow, what a beautiful looking fish this one is. Just, uh, yep, we're all good. Just took off on the uh, right hand rod on the single spot there. Put up an epic battle, as you can believe. Most 20 pounders really give their all, don't they? Especially in this clear, weedy water, full of oxygen this time of day. I'm going to see if I, if I can get her up. Look at that, eh? What an absolute perler. Buzzing to get off the mark this early, eh? I've hey, been here a few hours and we're. Bank this corker. Absolute mint fish. Apologies for the dappled sunlight. It's uh, sort of high trees all round really. It's tough to get out of the dappled sunlight and, and try and get on uh, a bit of level ground. You don't want to be taking uh, pictures or recordings on, on like hills or slopes or anything. You want to keep the fish on the flattest ground you can possibly find. And uh, look at her. Let me give her a quick flip round and uh, we'll have a quick butch at the other side. I haven't got the rod back out yet. I thought I'd uh, just show you guys first what, it, what to expect from this clear, weedy water. There you go, there's the other side, look. Absolute perler. Mint condition, perfect mouth, perfectly proportioned. And uh, well, hopefully another bite or two on the cards. Oh, I'm going to put a little bit of carp care in her mouth. It's got a tiny, tiny little hook hole damage. Nothing to worry about. I uh, don't think it was from me. Maybe a previous capture. But uh, and I'm going to slip her back and we'll switch camera on and have a chat soon. See you in a bit. Well guys, check this out. It's been about 40 minutes since I last had that fish. Currently got no rods on the stand. I've just had an epic take probably about 25 minutes ago, I had to go out and retrieve it in the boat and I've got an absolute tank of a common. Unbelievable. I was just uh, sharpening the hook, ready and had it re-clipped, re ready to get the rod back out from the 24 and the other rod has took off in a way you won't believe. And it weeded me up about 30 yards. I played it in gently, gently and uh, eased it in, went in the boat, managed to get it out of the weed and I got an absolute stunning beast of a common, an absolute tank of a fish. I'm going to get this out now and uh, we'll have a look and see what she goes on the scales. See you in a minute. Well guys, have I got a real treat here. Unbelievable, looks like it's the year of the big commons for me. We're in early spring and I'm already getting stuck into some absolute cracking fish already. I'm on absolute fire again this year. Great start to the year, couldn't have gone better. Now I'm going to give this gal a quick weigh, I haven't weighed her, I just took two pictures quickly. She's been real well behaved on the mat. Absolute tank of a common here guys. I'm absolutely buzzing my nut off still. Right, check the pecs. We're good to go. Oh. 
Oh my god, it's touching 40. Make sure the scales are right. Yeah, they might be a couple ounces out, but they're bang on right. Here we go, let me get her up one more time. This is unbelievable. Oh, a few ounces under 40 pounds. Absolutely unreal. I'll, I'll wait a sling after just to make sure, but we're in within a, an ounce or two. Oh my God, what an absolute beast. I knew it was an absolute cracker. The second it took off, it went berserk. And here we are. Look at this for a nice Sandhurst stunning early spring common. Just about touching 40 or a few ounces under. I'm not fussed really. Either way, it's an absolute cracker. These fish are incredible. Can't believe it took me this long to get here to be honest, but they say timing in carp fishing is everything. So, and uh, here we are, look how black the head is. I'm gonna flip around, we're gonna have a quick look at the other side. The bailiff had to come out on the boat with me and, and secure this fish as uh, she was buried very deep in some weed. Oh my God. Ah. There we go. Look at that. Again, sorry if the sunlight's a bit dappled. 40 pound Sandhurst Common. Buzzing me nut off. But right, I'm gonna slip her back because it's obviously uh, a reasonably old fish and uh, we'll catch up shortly. Well, here we are guys. I'm finally all sorted out in the next peg up. Thought I'd take you to have a little walk down to the side of me. Nice little tree line over there. It's a nice looking little peg actually. Look at the clarity of the water in here. It is like tap water. Yeah, it looks really nice. Not too busy today. There's a few on, but nowhere near as many as there was last week. Things are really looking good, to be fair. Hopefully all my hard work will pay off and we'll get into one of them real big gals, what we're here for. Beautiful, nice sunny day today. And it's been really cold the last week or so, so it's more than welcome. I'm gonna walk you down to a nice little walkway here, look. See my bivvy just through the trees there? Nice little walkway through here. Traps are all sorted. Believe it or not, the first two went out first time on the double spot. Uh, so least disturbance possible. But the right hand rod took three casts because there's a bit of a funny angle out there. I've got that right on the edge of the parameters of this peg. There's no one to the right of me. Oh, I'm in, I've got to go. Well, as I was saying, it's looking good for bites. The rod that just went off there went out first time and I applied a fair bit of bait over the double spot and uh, away it goes, looks like a beautiful looking 20. Right, it's, uh, yeah, can't believe my luck, it's, uh, it's going to kick off I reckon. But yeah, we're going to get her out and have a look and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Morning guys. Well, as if this session couldn't get any better. It's, uh, yeah, it's just happened again. Got a 37 pounder, I've just done two ounces under 38 pounds. Real nice old brown looking mirror. So uh, no evening update for me last night. I literally passed out and didn't wake up till half past 10. I then woke up and uh, put about three kilo in over the double spot. Left the single spot with a bag on it. 
but I still put a fair bit of bait on that yesterday and it seems to have worked it's about 10 past 8 in the morning and uh, we just had a real slow steady take on the left hand rod and get her up, I've just weighed her and took two picks it's a real nice <coughs> brown old looking mirror it's hard for me to get the right lighting I tried to do it down by the bank but it's just too dark Ah, oh, there you go and the sun's really bright as you know we're still in early spring but look at that eh brace of upper 30s well nearly a 40 that common ended up being just a few ounces under 40 pounds and then uh, this is grace the bank look at that such a clean looking fish properly made up this place is amazing it's got to be one of the best day ticket waters in in England without a doubt just the look of the fish is enough for me and uh, it seems that I've caught it right and my timing couldn't have been more perfect to get down and, and get a bend from one of these epic chunks but to get two in one session I made up so last week I was here it was just about getting a bit of homework done and getting a load of bait in and letting them have a bit and I did I put about six kilo in last week add a couple of bites but it was all in the plan to get back this week and get one of the real biggies and there you go look at that nice sun might not be doing it much justice but there you go well what a beauty this year's kicking off in it eh and we're only two parts into this series we've got another two parts to go and uh if it goes anything like this, it's going to be magical. Right, I'm going to slip this big girl back and uh, we'll catch up when I make the first brew of the day. See you in a bit. Well, I've just pulled the other two rods in so I just had that fish on one and then I got cooted on the middle rod so I've just whipped the right hand rod in and I'm going to go for a walk down to the van and grab some more supplies take you guys with me along the way Guys, just had another epic take on the left hand rod. Got a beautiful looking linear carp here. Just over 24 and a half pounds. Another right result. Now it looks pretty sunny behind me, but that wind is nippy as hell. I'm not going to get her up on the bank. I've treated her mouth with a bit of carp care. She had a little flick scale on the back. Not for me, but an old capture so I treated her there and I'm just going to slip her back see if she'll let me up to... there you go 
beautiful looking linear. Happy days. Come on. I'll just switch the camera on and have a quick evening chat before we lose the light. Yeah, looking a bit dead out there to be honest. Haven't seen anything since the linear carp that we had earlier. Very quiet. Been a few shows to the left, up the other end of the lake. But nowhere near in my facility. But at this point, who cares eh? What an epic session. Can't really say much, can't complain, can I? Session of a lifetime, in all honesty. But yeah, so this is the last evening. Got to be off bright and early. Nine o'clock I've got to be off by, so it's going to be an early pack up. It's going to be cold tonight. One degree, maybe zero. And we've got to be off bright, bright and early. Oh, God, I hate leaving the lake this early. Right on bite time. But uh, they've got all the quarter boys coming for a group booking, so they've booked the lake out. So, unfortunately, that's uh, the way it is, and I've got to take the two-hour drive back to Cambridge. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it, you know. Go and see the family, get a bit of balance back in my life before I'm back on the bank next week at another new venue. So uh, we won't be back here now for another 14 days or so, I guess. I booked on for a couple more sessions at the beginning of May, and we're halfway through April. So yeah, going to go kick it at another venue and uh, do a bit more carping elsewhere and see if we can pinch a one or two more big gals. And hopefully when I come back down here, that'll all be kicking off again, won't it? So yeah, I'm going to get packed up inside the bivvy now. I don't want to be peeing about in the mornings. It's going to be cold. Lucky I've got my winter suit with me still. Uh, tomorrow's max is only going to be 9 degrees, and that's in the afternoon. So the old quarter boys are going to have it cold, I tell you. Uh, both days, Saturday and Sunday, are not going above 9 degrees. So good luck to them. At least I've enjoyed a bit of sunlight while I've been on the bank. Loving it. Can't beat spring, can you? And here's the traps, look. All sprung loaded, ready to go. Will it produce another bite? Mm, I don't think so. In all honesty, I don't think so. This lake's not been chucking many night bites up in general, and I've got to leave at bite time. But uh, the rods are out there. They've been out there since this afternoon, actually. Haven't touched them. Won't be touching them till I go home. Lines are perfect, and uh, yeah, can't do no more. Hopefully, a bit more carpy action will happen. It'd be nice to finish off with another epic chunk. Oh god, I'm getting excited thinking about it. But we're not going to go there because chances of a bite are very slim. But I'm going to enjoy the good night's sleep, eat plenty of nice food. We're going to lose the light in the next 10-15 minutes. So uh, I'm going to clock off, get tucked up because it's freezing out here and uh, go stick the heater on. And uh, till the morning, hold tight, I'll see you soon. Well guys, that's it for this session. We've got about 15 minutes left before I've got to pull the rods in. Everything else is packed away, just about. So uh, yeah, got to be off by nine. Nothing else happened since that linear, lovely beautiful linear yesterday, but who cares, what an absolute super session. Loving life. Right, I must go and uh, keep following, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.